Good evening, YouTube. Full Circle Review back here again with another review. And in honor of the wintertime, solstice, cold weather, holiday season, non-secular so we don't insult people, Nabisco has released two limited edition Oreo flavors. We have the White Fudge Covered Oreo. Enlarged to show texture. Serving size is one cookie at 100 calories. 5 grams of fat, 14 grams of carbs, and 1 gram of protein. I mean, that's easy to portion out. One cookie's 100 calories, but literally there's a lot of things that you could have for 100 calories that would be more satiating. Just saying. And we have the gingerbread, naturally and artificially flavored. Um, gingerbread flavored cookie, cream with crunchy sugar crystals, naturally artificially flavored, five festive designs. Serving size is two cookies at 150 calories, 7 grams of fat, 20 grams of carbs, and less than 1 gram of protein. So you are not going to be bulking on these. We're going to start off with the white fudge cupboard. Now these are a yearly staple for Nabisco, and I know that they have like a cult following, and people love them. So I'm just going to see how good they are. And it says white fudge. I kind of wish it was white chocolate, if you feel me. But maybe these will be good. They smell like those uh, frosted animal crackers. The, the mom's frosted animal crackers. There it is. It's very soft, kind of like a bar of soap. It feels like a dove's bar of soap. Very pretty. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up. When I read White Fudge, I was expecting super sweet candy gummy coating or frosting on top of what I already considered to be an overly sweet Oreo. I love the Oreo wafer cookie. I've never been a fan of the cream because the cream's just too sweet in my opinion. But this comes across perfect. You get the good, crispy Oreo cookie. You get hit with that cocoa, that nice cocoa in the cookie, but you don't get any of that bitterness because the fudge, the extra creaminess from the fudge, overcomes that bitterness that you get in the Oreo cookie. You actually can't really even taste the cream. You get left with the fudge. I really like that. It has the exact same fudge flavor as the fudge icing they put on the mom's frosted uh, animal crackers. I flip and love this. Then you get hit with that cocoa from the Oreo cookie after the cream. The cream itself is, it's a fudge coating. It's, you know, it's artificial. It's, it's a little waxy, but it doesn't stick to your teeth. It's smooth and creamy. It's gummy, but in a good way. I really like the mouthfeel. This is an improvement to the Oreo cookie. And I ha have to say, like, I, I couldn't say that I prefer these over the regular Oreo cookie because if you want an Oreo, you want an Oreo. You're not going to make a pie crust out of this. But this is very pleasant. The fudge coating actually somehow manages to balance out the sweetness of the cream filling. I flip and love this. This is a spectacular item. It does need salt. The wafer needs salt. Both the cream filling and the fudge coating need vanilla. And I wish that they would use either coconut oil or cocoa butter to make the fudge coating 
so that it would be crisper, not so waxy and gummy, but more natural. If they were to do that, incorporate vanilla, this would be a one. Uh, this product would get a 100. I'm going to give this a 92 out of 100. This is one of the best Oreo products you can buy. And here I was dreading it because I live in fear of white chocolate. You might be saying, uh, full circle, why do you live in fear of white chocolate? The white version of anything is the worst version. Now this one I'm looking forward to is the gingerbread cookie. I flip and love gingerbread. It smells exactly like a gingerbread house. And you got some type of weird gingerbread house on the back and then Oreo on the front. Um, slightly thicker than regular Oreo cream filling. Kind of has a red tinge to it with little sprinkles in it. Let's get into it. Crisper than a regular Oreo, not as hard. Great cookie mouthfeel. Cream is very sweet. Spectacular gingerbread cookie, cookie flavor. I get the ginger, get the cinnamon, get the molasses, get a little bit of nutmeg. Uh, the cream filling is really nice. Here that super sweet cream filling that I generally do not like in Oreo actually goes well with the cookie because, you know, gingerbread cookies are sometimes not the sweetest cookie. This is very well delivered. Only issues, I wish the brown sugar to regular sugar, sugar ratio of flavor in this was stronger. More of a brown sugar molasses flavor would be appreciated. I'm left with a slight artificial ginger flavor that's lingering and I do not like. I wish it was more natural. The cream filling itself just seems to be a generic sugar sweetened flavor. I wish it was vanilla and cream cheese. If you had a cream cheese icing like you put on gingerbread cookies, it would be spectacular. And I wish that the sugar crystals, crystals which they advertise as crunchy, were more crispy. They seem to have softened up in the cream, and they are not delivering on that mouthful they're advertising. Spectacular product, 89 out of 100. Vanilla, cream cheese flavor in the cream. Little less sweetness in the cream. Cookie itself could use a little bit of salt. Natural ginger flavor that doesn't linger in your mouth. And I do wish that they would go to a more natural oil so it wasn't so um, artificial. Nonetheless, there has been two holiday renditions of the Oreo cookie. If you enjoy seeing me eat Oreo cookies, hit that subscribe button so I know to keep making these videos. If not, comment down below how Oreo cookies are not the videos I should be recording, and please inform me what videos I should be recording. It really means a lot to me. Y'all, take care.